what's up so um, since my last video I I made two dollars and ninety six cents in credits so I'm gonna use these credits to play with and buy some land in France now this time I'm gonna do something different the last time I bought some land I was looking for a high traffic location because in the future they're, they're gonna place advertisements and the more traffic in the area that you get, I guess the more uh, uh, money you get for people placing advertisements on your land. But in this case, I am looking, I'm going to use a strategy that I'm going to use to buy and sell land. Now, I thought about this because uh, there was this land in Brooklyn, New York. Well, I could say it now because I pretty much bought the whole park but I bought the whole Coney Island theme park and uh, I kept it on the low I didn't discuss it on the Facebook group because I didn't want someone to snatch it up before I did and um, you know when I when I finally found the guts to to uh, put the money into it I went ahead and did it and uh, now I, I own it which is really cool because I grew up in that area so you know I don't know how our two is actually gonna look but if they do keep the Coney Island theme park as like part of the game or the virtual world that would be awesome to know that I own it but um but as I was buying it little by little I was hoping that other people wouldn't start buying the pieces of land because then I would have to reach out to them and and make them an offer because I wanted it that bad so this is a strategy I came up with now that you know I, I'm looking at cities that have a lot of a, a lot of interest like I'm, I'm in France right now Paris Paris France to be exact and I see all these tiles right here I don't know if this is all one owner or multiple owners. Uh, there's ways to check. Like you could click on it, and if you click on it, click on the tile. Let me see. Let's zoom in actually. All right. Um, I'm not gonna kill too much time doing that, but I think there's a way to find out if all those ties belong to one owner. But for example, let's say, let's say all of this does belong to one owner. Oh, there it is. Just popped up. Okay. So this is the owner's name in the bottom under ST, which says ARA Realty. I don't know. And it has their referral code. Okay. And I'm going to click on the next box over. Just wait for it to load. Okay. Yep. So it's the same owner on the next tile over, and um, now I'm not gonna click all of these, but so far we got two tiles back to back in the same area that belong to the same owner, and for some reason this owner has a uh, a big uh, stake on this land, and must mean something to him. All right. Um, I don't know if he claimed all the pieces of the property he wants, but there's there's some that look like 
like this looks perfectly a perfect shape kind of looks like a perfect square you know so anyway this so this there's, there's a reason behind why this person bought so much land over here um maybe he's not done or she maybe he or she is not done maybe they're planning on expanding more to to the the rest of the city over here but just hasn't uh haven't gone around to it maybe they, you know, they just can't afford it right now because of whatever reason well, anyway so the point is that you know find places like this or or other places where you think another owner has a lot of interest in and start buying the land around it you know i know it's a it's a grimy move but this is a business you know so the person comes back to finish up buying the rest of the land that they wanted and notice that someone just bought uh a lot of tiles in the area that they want now you go after you buy that land you put it in the marketplace so at least you know there's one person that that wants this you know and and you could probably sell it above a little bit above market value and I, i'm the reason I'm, I'm saying this is because i know as a as a buyer when i really wanted to buy coney island i was i was really i was really that desperate that if someone had purchase the pieces of tiles that I wanted before I was able to finish up I would have went in the marketplace and looked for it and I would have made an offer some some of these areas especially like homes or, or places neighborhoods that people grew up in have sentimental value and uh, people just want them So, so I'm going to go look for something that I think is, um, a short thing, not a short thing, but good chances for me to flip. I don't know what this building is right here. So if anybody sees this video, if you know what this building is, uh, hit me up. Let me see how much this costs. All right, I might come back and buy this building. It looks it looks important to me. But that's not the purpose of this video. This video is to sh to uh buy land from I mean buy buy land that you think someone might want so that way you can put up in the marketplace and and get your money back with profit. This is a perfect example right here. You see this owner bought this whole building right here. But it's not fully covered yet. It's not 100% covered yet. So he might come back and buy this tile. Uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse. But there's one, two, three, four pieces of tile that is not covered on this building right here. So this owner might realize that, might come back and try to cover up the rest of this building and then find out that I just, that, that someone bought it 
so that are kind of like they'll probably go on the marketplace to see if someone put it up for listing and uh, might reach out to me personally or or make an offer so you know what like I said I know it's grimy I know it's messed up but you know it's business so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna buy the rest of this building All right, I, I, I have some more credits left over to use. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to use my credits later on. But I just wanted to show you guys. So, um, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about. So, obviously, this, this person really wanted this whole entire building. But missed out on a few tiles here. Might realize it. and notice that it's too late and he might go looking for this in the marketplace and make me an offer I'm going to use my credits and So I'm going to highlight this, copy, and now I'm going to go back to, wow, look, just in this video, when I started this video, I my net worth was 600 and something dollars. Look, I'm almost at a thousand dollars, and wow, what, what, I mean... Come on, guys. This is this is crazy. Like I, I'm just I'm on this on my laptop right now, and I just I just net worth over two hundred dollars in a few minutes. Now I'm gonna look for that piece of land that I just purchased, and I'm gonna list it for sale. Hopefully, I can find it. I got so much there it is um all right so i am going to sell this And because you know, you, you never know. Because someone wants it so bad, it might have some. It might have some sentimental value, like um, Coney Island did for me. And they might you you might be able to sell it over market value. <clears throat> so right now, the market value of it is a dollar twenty nine. So I I'm gonna resell it for. Three twenty nine. And there it is, is up for sale. There you see, up here on the it said land for sale. Not this. Let me refresh.
There you go. You see? It says buy now for three dollars and twenty nine cents and is above market value. But like I said, I know someone is trying to buy the whole entire building. It's obvious. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna make a video if I when I when I when I sell it and uh, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching.